All right, the final video before the big update, we're talking about team composition. Now, right off the bat, I know I'm going to get probably some hate for this. It's going to go either one of two ways. Either we're going to see a remarkable battleship that's going to be the premier setup battleship backliner that you guys usually see in basically every people's, every person's meta fight. Or we're going to get something else. So here's how it's going to work. As I said before, Vanguard is never getting kicked out. There is no way Vanguard is kicking out unless this ship that kicks out Vanguard either does what she does, but better, which is up to 18% firepower buff, or 10% plus 8% or something like, something like that. She's a buffer. Um, either someone better than her that does damage, or someone that does so much damage to to the point where it covers not only her global 10% buff, but what she offers to the backline as well too. So it has to be someone that's going to be very, very game-breaking. And I don't personally think Bismarck 2, Bismarck's away, is going to be the answer for that. So she stays. <clears throat> so but this brings us down to Musashi and New Jersey. Now, right off the bat, you may be thinking, wow, let's kick out New Jersey because she does less damage to Musashi, right? It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. I'm going to tell, tell you guys right now that no, that's not the case. It really depends on what Bismarck can do and what kind of barrage she does. If you guys don't already know, Musashi has to be in the middle for her barrage to be super effective. If she's on the sidelines, it won't be as effective. Whereas New Jersey's barrage can hit pretty much anywhere. She could be in the middle, side, left, right, bottom, top, down. doesn't matter. It's going to hit from any direction. So... Depending on how Bismarck's barrage is going to be and how much damage she's going to do determines which ship she's going to kick out, assuming she does more damage to them. Personally, I don't think she's going to be better than either of the premier battleship setups as of right now. New Jersey, Musashi, and Vanguard is going to stay. What's going to happen is, <clears throat> well, what I'm expecting is she's going to be in a pure KMS setup. Oh my god, another KMS ship, right? She's going to be full KMS. Rejoice KMS enjoyers, right? I know there's a lot of them in the game. They're going to be very, very happy about this. So that can be another thing as well, too. So if you guys want to know the premiere setup with the upcoming Bismarck as a way, then this is probably what we're going to see as a right here. We're going to have our tank Ager. We're going to have our buffer Emden. And the last slot can be whatever you guys want. I'm just going to throw in Rune Moose just for an extra buffer and a little bit more tank. Use mines. You can use whatever you guys want. It does pretty much similar things in the process. But I personally just use like using Rune Moose because more damage. So, right in the middle where we have, uh, oh no, uh, we have a uh, random uh, Theseus out of nowhere here. Um, that's probably where she's going to go. Uh, that's probably where she's going to fit. She's going to have the buffs from a lot of ships right here. So that's good. That's pretty much where she wants to go. Now, if that's not the case, what you can do instead is if you guys want to run like a let's make FTG hit really, really hard setup, you guys can do like a Bismarck. I think she needs to be flagship or something. Uh, you use, we'll use Theseus as our uh, Bismarck is the way marker. And FDG right here. And then you what, what you want to do is toss in uh, Ulrich here into another fleet because of what she offers with her buff. And if I recall correctly, this buff right here makes it so uh, the KMS ships that's not in this fleet gets what? Crit damage. So she gets a crit damage buff to basically those ships in, if she's in another fleet. Poor Ulrich here can't join the premier setup if that's the case, if you guys want to run that kind of setup. Otherwise, though, if you need the damage, you need the juicy, juicy backline damage, please uh, kick out Bismarck for Bismarck's away, and you pretty much have a full backline of UR KMS ships. Finally, KMS can run all full rainbow ships in a backline, and you're pretty much good to go. Four out of five is going to be um, UR, so can't really go wrong with that. That's what I'm going to see as of right now. It's actually a really solid setup. Uh, it's going to be the second battleship. If you guys run something for um, uh, uh, Operation Siren. So I could definitely see this being a very, very good second battleship setup. If you guys want to run that. Or first one, if you guys want to main K uh, KMS. 
and run like a, maybe a second setup somewhere, a second battleship setup somewhere with New Jersey, Musashi, and Vanguard. You can definitely do that. Otherwise, though, uh, what I'm going to use them for, assuming Project's Away, or Project's Away, uh, Bismarck's Away does what I expect her she's going to do, just be a buffer, probably just uh, about the same damage, if not a little bit more than Ulrich, and just have her kick out Bismarck right here and run a full KMS setup for OS or whatever you guys want to run it for. That's what I'm expecting. Uh, I don't think it's going to be anything game-breaking this time around. Like Yorktown 2, when she came out, I don't think a lot of people were like, whoa, this ship is crazy. I think a lot of people are disappointed. Uh, truth be told, uh, a lot of people were. So pretty much the same scenario this time around, except it's not USS ship. It's a KMS ship. So anyways, we'll see how the ship's going to work out. Data mine drops in about four hours from now. So I'm going to stay up for watching that. And yeah. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me guys, let me know what you guys want the uh, setup or what you guys think the setup is going to be for the upcoming battleship. Any juicy, juicy things coming out that you want to talk about involving this ship. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the gacha pulls and a start of another finally UR event. The game is finally active now and I'm not dead for another two more months. Great. <laughs>